This week's gearing up to be a pretty solid week, a real uh, testament to how I'm gonna be doing with running with starting to really get closer to that 90 mile mark. It's looking like I'm going to be running most of my weeks this summer at 90 once I get there. Uh, this week we're gonna shoot between 70 and 75 and we're gonna be adding in some strides at the end of a few of my runs. Probably do some today as well. So I'll try to get in 10 miles right now. It's like nine o'clock, I just got out of work and fortunately the weather is like actually still pretty cool. Not like too hot to where I'd be worried about running outside. So gonna get in, quick little run right now, jump on the canal, hopefully it'll be pretty shaded. And then uh, when we get back, we'll try to knock out some strides and yeah, just stretch out, maybe get some uh, lifting in upstairs in the gym while I'm still here. Try to just uh, prioritize all the things that I can do here while I'm here, take care of business. And uh, somebody's looking at me from up on the track watching me talk and now I'm just staring right back and they look away. <laughs> it's so weird recording in public. I'm still not used to it, but uh, yeah, let's just start running. <laughs> My parents are out of town for the next few days uh, out in Michigan visiting friends and some family and I am here at the track this morning because of that with uh, no Jimmy T being home. Uh, like I said last week, it's just easier to come out here and put in the work, just be able to finish up my run and then head on to the track and do some herd mobility. I also wanted to do strides and core and uh, lift yesterday. That didn't happen because I felt just absolutely drained after that run. You know, not too used to running that late in the day and uh, I don't think I ate enough to be completely honest. So obviously you gotta take care of yourself, you gotta listen to your body, know when to, uh, you know, take it easy and when to push a little bit more. So today we're probably gonna finish up with some strides on the track and then we'll do herd mobility, core, stretching, rolling, all that good stuff. As long as the weather stays uh, nice, very, very cloudy and windy this morning, but besides that, not too bad at all. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get started with this run here and uh, hopefully uh, attack the day and get my stuff done and then head back to the house.
tummy. You can pick her up. Look how crazy she gets. In the past few days, the heat and humidity has definitely been getting a little bit worse. It's crazy to think that Monday at around like 9, 10 o'clock, I was running and I was like, yeah, this is pretty bad. And it was actually colder that later in the day Monday than it has been at 5 a.m. Wednesday, Thursday. And the humidity was much lower. I mean, we're getting a low of like 90% humidity here. So it, it's rough. I mean, I think this is kind of be to be expected, obviously. Like I knew this was going to happen. And I do kind of feel bad bringing it up all the time. Like, I'm not trying to make excuses or anything because, uh, you know, I'm obviously still doing the runs and everything. It's not like it's uh, a problem or anything. It's just, it's just draining, honestly. Like, I'm sure, like, you guys can understand the heat and the humidity is just, it takes so much out of you, especially when it comes to running for such a long period of time. Like, it's not an easy thing to get through, to say the least. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely not my favorite. I would much, you know, prefer to run in the cold, like I've said before, but... Nothing you can do about that and, uh, you know, just try to keep, you know, moving forward one step at a time and it does suck this week not being able to do workouts just yet. I'm in this position where like I really want to just be fast and like I want to start doing workouts whenever I have the uh, ability to do so. But I also really do understand like Arrow knows exactly what he's doing when it comes to training and, you know, he's telling me, you know, take it easy. It's a long season. There's no point in jumping into workouts or doing anything like that. And I know he's right. Like, I, I think that's such a smart way of training, especially what we're, you know, planning to do in the future moving forward. So, like, I'm glad that I have that on my side where it's like, hey, just remember that, you know, it's going to be a long season and take it easy. Don't, you know, stress about it too much and everything will work out. It's just like, you know, obviously you just want to be fast. Like, you never want to be in a position as a runner where you're, like, off season or, uh, resetting training where, you know, it sucks being slow. Let's just put it that way. So I know what I'm doing is the best for me and I know I just got to keep at it, but, uh, strides will help. Obviously did strides on, what was that Tuesday? I'll probably do strides tomorrow. I would love to get out and do hurdles, uh, yesterday, but the weather was not looking too great. So I was like, I'm not going to go to the track and have it rain for, you know, the umpteenth time that it's happened so far already getting fully rested uh, each night with sleep and whatnot and just take care of business and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Gearing up for a little longer on this morning. Feeling pretty good. Like, I don't know, yesterday felt goofy because my legs just were not in it. And then I was gonna go do her mobility, but I got called into work a little early. So I ended up just working out a little bit beforehand. And now like I got pretty good sleep last night, which I'm grateful for. And I, I don't know, I feel a lot better, but Yesterday was rough. I'm not really sure why it felt so bad. So I'm hoping today goes a lot smoother. And uh, I'm gonna pop some caffeine in a minute here just to make sure that, I usually take caffeine before my long runs and workouts. And the only reason I do it for my long runs is so that I can use the bathroom before I run. Uh, usually it just helps me clear out the system. And the last thing I wanna do is have to use the bathroom going into like a 16 mile run, so. We're gonna do that, stretch out. Jimmy T should be up in a minute, and then, yeah, probably shoot for around 16, maybe 17 miles this morning. We'll see how I'm feeling. A little bit cooler out than the past few Saturdays, so that should be pretty nice. And uh, yeah, just start getting after it this morning.
Alrighty, that is 16 miles done and dusted. I'm not gonna lie, it's crazy how 10 degrees makes such a big difference. Like last week it was 72. This week we started at 62. Still 92% humidity, but like not bad at all. Like honestly, I was pretty surprised that it was, I felt as good as I did because I definitely felt pretty good this morning. Obviously, uh, you know, you go on Strava, see the pace change. Like I was working down negative split most of them and uh, felt pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So pretty happy with that and get to take the rest of the day easy. Might go chill on the river or something. Just enjoy it, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a good day when the long run goes well, you get to enjoy the rest of the day and easy run tomorrow morning to top off the week. But yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Definitely starting to feel fit again, so. Also, shout out Jimmy T behind the camera. I couldn't do it without him. I really can't express how much I appreciate him driving next to me and filming all the time. So it goes a long way with giving me my bottle, letting me drink electrolytes and whatnot. So it's a huge help. So shout out to Jimmy T. He's a, he's a real one. He's the goat. I just woke up from a uh, little like hour and a half nap. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't sleep too great last night, so absolutely exhausted when I got home from work. And I also got the chance to speak to Arrow yesterday, which was super nice to get a good idea of what we're gonna be looking at training-wise this summer. I'm sure I'll put like a little bit of that conversation in uh, the video, but I'm not gonna put all of it in there because we probably talked for a good half an hour about different things we wanna do, what we wanna accomplish things to work on, things to look uh, into. And, you know, it was, it was a great conversation. I'm glad I uh, obviously had the chance to, you know, sit down and talk with him at a length just to make sure that I know exactly, you know, what, what we're doing, what the uh, implication is of training and whatnot. And it was a really good conversation. So it's always nice to, you know, get to talk to him like that. You know, I love talking running and especially with somebody who appreciates the sport as much as I do. I you know I've definitely talked about it before, but it's always nice talking to him. So yeah, we're uh, looking pretty good going into next week. And, you know, I don't want to talk about it too much, obviously, because next week's video will be pretty much based around the training plan that we're going to set up this summer. But uh, it's just weird because like we're already halfway through summer, it feels like. And, you know, I'll probably still consider summer running throughout the uh, month of August, but I don't know, it just feels weight starting a little bit later on than normal. But yeah, besides that, life's been uh, moving, Does, doesn't stop. Same thing with running. So it's been a pretty uh, solid couple days here and just excited to get back after it. So hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Summer Running. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next week with some workouts some absolute fire gonna be going down for sure. And uh, just appreciate you guys always tuning in per usual, all the support, all the love, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care, love all things. See you next time. Peace out.